Hey, good morning, good morning, good Monday, good much Monday evening. Um, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, that movement that I was doing right there is always a, a good thing to do just before you're going to be speaking or singing, because as you know, it helps to open up the bronchial tubes, the lungs, diaphragmatic breathing, and it helps to open up the larynx as well. So we're going to talk a little bit tonight about the lymphatic system and improving the immune system so it can work more efficiently. It's so important in these, at this period of time that we have good functioning immune systems. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the, uh, the questions. We'll read some customer reviews, talk a little bit about that. And I'm going to introduce you, you're going to be the first to see it, our new website, which is designed and planned to be launched tonight. And that new website is kind of a culmination of 30 years of my being in the industry and wanting to represent the industry in a way that it makes sense for people when they come to the website, for them to be able to maneuver and find that part of the website or those particular points of interest that pertain to your particular needs. And so I found a wonderful team of people to work with me and to create the vision, we've made the vision a reality. So we're gonna finish that website um, up and it'll be a work in progress. We'll continue to work on it. But I'd like to ask all of you to, to go take a look at the website when it's up and running. And again, that should be probably in the early morning for, for most of us. And once that's up and running, if you could take a look at it and let us know your feedback, what you like about it, what you think we can do to improve upon it. Um, it's designed to help support you. And so that's, uh, that's what we want to do is be able to make that, that work. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about lymphatic system. I also want to talk a little bit about the cellar sizer and some of the features uh, on the cellar sizer that are unique and that make it effective and why people are able to get the results on a cellar sizer that they might not be able to get on on many of the typical rebounders that are out there. So let's go ahead and begin with uh, reading some, some customer reviews. This one's from Jennifer. She says, I love your videos, best I've seen yet. I purchased my first rebounder when I was 19. I will be 62 June 30th. And I agree, it's the best exercise ever. Thank you for sharing your positive communication exercise gift with the world. Grateful years, Jennifer. And Jennifer, thank you for, for being a part of the family and being willing to share. I want to encourage all of you who are receiving benefits. Your, your reviews are making a difference. I share them during the course of the week. And many of you don't realize the impact that these customer reviews have on other people who might be struggling with a particular condition or issue, who might want to try the cellar sizer and experience it for themselves because of what you've shared. So thank you for that. All right. This one is from Patrick. I don't think, no, this one's Cindy. Cindy says, I've been using the cellar sizer since October. Started really slowly. I use it for a few minutes every day. Everything is changing. I'm losing weight, getting some definition in my muscle tone. My lung capacity has improved. My skin is brighter and firmer. I'm almost 64 and get compliments every day. I'm even jogging now on my cellar sizer. Best thing I've ever done for myself in a really long time. Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Christina writes, hello from Atlanta. I use my cellar sizer most days. Of all my meds and at my goal weight, thank you for exclamation points. Christina, thank you, Christina. And Patrick writes, my cellar sizer is amazing. My balance and fine-tuned motor functions have improved dramatically. And if that's all that you receive, you, of course it goes way, way, way beyond that. But the motor skills, the ability to, to move and function and, and enjoy life more, yeah, it just more abundantly is, is what, what are the great benefits of the solar sizer? As a teenager, he goes on, he says, I used to do a lot of backflips on the trampoline and even on the ground. For several years now, I've been too scared to try it 
in fear that I could hurt myself. But I must say, after using the Cellarizer for somewhere between two and three months, I am starting to feel tempted to do a backflip again. I know the feeling. It's not that I'm thinking I could do this. It's that I'm literally beginning to feel my central nervous system memory desiring to pull a backflip again. I feel young again. I'll be 39 in March. Haven't cut a backflip since I was 34. Even then, I felt like I it hurt my body to do it. But this cellular size has me feeling the same type of confidence and physical ability of my mid-20s. Fairly soon, once the time and feeling is just right, I'm going to cut a backflip on the cellular sizer. <laughs> I don't know if they should do it on the cellular sizer. Um, maybe I'll do it for my 40th birthday to celebrate, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate the, uh, the review. Okay, this one's from Brian. Brian says, oh, there's one of these that I'm going to read in a few minutes that literally brought tears to my eyes. And that's, that's why we're doing this is to help people reach their greater health potential. And that's a, you'll know which one it is. Thank you for allowing me into this group. I'm 52 years old and I just started solar sizing on December 25th when I got a rebounder for Christmas. I just learned about Dave Hall and the solar sizer family in November. I like to run outside and lift weights at the gym, but due to COVID and my dislike of running in the cold, I was prompted to find a new way of working out. I feel so blessed to have found Dave and this program. I bought the Mr. Rebounder app and been cellar sizing every day since the 25th. It feels great. I didn't initially purchase the cellar sizer because I wanted to see if I was going to like this type of workout. I am now a believer in Hooked. I love cellar sizing when I can. I will definitely purchase the cellar sizer. I can see from the videos that the mat seems a bit more stiff than the rebounder I have. Plus, I believe in Dave and would like to support his cause. Again, thanks and blessings to all, Brian. Brian, I think we read you last couple weeks ago, and thank you. It's well, well worth reading again. Yes, the cellar size, we're going to talk about the mat material, and that mat material is what helps prevent the feet from pronating, which is very important. So we don't develop ankle problems, knee problems, or hip or back problems. And... The Mr. Rebounder app, which looks like I just finished this one earlier, is, uh, is what he was talking about. And of course, we've got over 30 pre-made routines for beginning, intermediate, advanced, seniors, or you can create your own routine with the various different modules. Now that we have the, the website ready to launch, we're going to be focusing on, we've got uh, over 20 more modules that we are going to be working on creating so that you can expand your your various different options on on the solar side so all right um oh yeah 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 all right this is elise elise writes has anyone else experienced this from from my car accident i have one side of my body smaller than the other my medical team says it's atrophied from my head injury the weird part is today's checkup, when I get mostly my leg measured to make sure it's not getting worse, I, I now have equal balance and measurements on both sides of my body. I was handing out information right and left about Solar Sizer website, laugh out loud, because we are all stunned at the results. Elise, thank you. I'm glad you, you brought that up. You look at typical exercise, nothing wrong with it, but a good majority of it is you work one part of the body and then you work another part of the body and, and you're working all these different body parts. It reminds me of the part of pharmaceutical industry where you're taking all the various different types of drugs for all the various different types of symptoms of conditions and illnesses. Well, it doesn't treat the body collectively as a whole. And again, nothing wrong with it, it's just that cellular size is very different. As you're moving up and down, the increase of weight is on every muscle, every cell membrane, as you know, collectively, all together at the same time. Well, if you have imbalances in the body, which is very common for golfers, for tennis players, baseball players, people who favor one side of the body over the other, when you get on a cellar sizer and you start to move up and down and do some of the different techniques that I teach, it's in a balanced state. 
So if the hips are out of alignment a little bit, but you're moving up and down equally on both the right and left hemisphere of your body as you're moving up and down, the hips start to drop. Muscles start to stretch, ligaments and tendons start to stretch as well to support your natural alignment. And that sounds very much like what Elise was experiencing is that, that balance. And there are techniques that I actually do to, to test people with that. And, and that's one of, the, one of the very good reasons I work with chiropractors is because they're making the adjustment, but the muscles are not used to the new alignment, so they have a tendency to pull you right back out of balance again. So again, the chiropractors that we work with will often, when appropriate, get the patient on the solar sizer after an alignment and gently bounce up and down so the muscles flex around the new alignment and it helps to hold it better. All right, so this one is from Brian. Did I just read this one? Oh, no, I didn't. All right. Look what came in the mail today, exclamation point. Already had my first workout on it, and all I can say is, wow, I found out about Dave and the Solar Sizer family in November of 2020 and started pouring through the videos to become familiar with the moves that, and Dave's ideology. What an amazing person. I had gotten a cheap rebounder for Christmas and started Solar Sizing that day. Since then, I've been rebounding every day after about six weeks. I started having problems with the cheap rebounder. I didn't want anything to stop my workout, so I made the investment in the trifold, the old adage, you get what you pay for, sure holds true in this case. Rebounding on a solar sizer is like night and day compared to my previous rebounder. The bounce is more fun and I felt more of a workout in all my muscles, especially my calves and abs. My suggestion to anyone who has purchased a cheaper rebounder is buy a solar sizer when you can. The difference is phenomenal. Thank you, Dave Hall. And all of you for your support and kindness. I am now an official part of the Solar Sizer family. And I, Brian, I either read that recently myself or I read it to the group. I'm not sure, but I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And for those of you who know people that might be interested in the Solar Sizer, um, I encourage them to get them now. Our cost has gone up. They've gone up. We're going to have to raise our price again to meet with the cost. Um, Nothing more I can do about it. As long as I continue to make a good quality unit, uh, it appears that our dollar is, is losing value and our costs are going up. But irrespective, half full solar sizers are in. And so we are, are back. We are not back ordered anymore right now. If you know anybody, grab the solar sizers at the current price if they can. Okay. All right. This one is. see the name on it. Okay, well, we'll read it and, and ask Christine if she can find a name for this one. But um, this may be long, so I apologize in advance. This, you're going to like this. I was in a bad car accident about 23 years ago. My head injury caused me to have to learn to walk, talk, and function again. So much of who I was was lost on that day. Basic tasks like tying my own shoes or even remembering how to do laundry was a chore that I had to accomplish with many, many sticky notes pasted up on the walls of my home to remind me how to do the task. I overcame a lot of it, but was still stuck with side effects of the crash. One of the big ones was balance. I had to give up driving because of it, and walking was also difficult for me. My brain would say that I was walking and going in a straight line, but my body would always wander off to the left. My family would just say, there goes mom again, and pull me back out of the way. I walked into many, many a wall. That is all changed, and I cry writing this. I was shopping with my husband and just didn't even notice until he kept looking at me strangely and said, wait here, and then he ran to the end of the aisle and said, walk to me. I thought he'd lost his dang mind, laugh out loud, but I did it, and I made it, straight as an arrow, exclamation points. I was crying in Walmart. I was so over the moon happy. I then started running around the store like a crazy teenager, 
At 60, I think I scared some folks about that loud. And after we left the store, I asked if I could try driving home. It was the most wonderful, freeing, blessed drive I ever did in my entire life. Exclamation points. David Hall saying thank you will never be enough to tell you. My lost life is now back again and I am free. Six exclamation points. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. My solar sizer birthday is January 10th, 2021. We will find out who that is. And I can't thank you enough for being willing to share that. And that's, that's what solar size is about. When our cells are stronger and healthier and working more efficiently, our body parts and functions are going to be stronger and healthier, working more efficiently. Solar size helps the body to work more efficiently. And that's, that's what we want. Okay, let's go over a few questions. Can you introduce who's on your team during the videos? I'm new and trying to figure out who's who. Laugh out loud. Well, we have Brooklyn. Brooklyn, say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we got Brooklyn, my daughter, in the background. She's, um, she's an 18-year-old who's finishing up her LPN. She's a bright girl, bright girl. And we have Christine. Christine Hanks is in the, on our, she's on the uh, internet right now watching forwarding and information to us and editing and putting on these recordings um, for, for everybody to, to see that can't make it live. So it'll be on our YouTube channel. But that's, uh, that's who works with us right here. So. Okay, I, haven't, I still haven't seen David's new routine on the app that he demonstrated on January 25th. I had an email on January 6th. The app had been updated, but the app store says last update was seven months ago. Am I missing the update in the new exercise? We are doing some updates, and we're going to, um, for those, I don't remember if it's Android or I think it was Apple, who are having trouble casting it on a large screen. They're doing the Chromecast thing right now, working on that. And I held off on that particular routine. I can write it up. But I didn't have the movements. We were doing some of the movements that are going to be in the new modules coming out. And I was going to wait for those modules and then make it available so that you can actually follow along with it. Um, next week, or in two weeks, I think we'll do, we'll pick one of the routines on the, um, on the Mr. Rebounder app. And we'll, we'll actually do one of the routines. If you have a favorite routine, or you've created one, because you can create your own here, please submit it to us. Let us know what you'd like to go through, and we can all do it collectively together. In the interim, they're putting together the graphic movements. Now, it's going to take a little bit of time. And once they have the graphic movements done, we will introduce those modules to the Mr. Rebounder app so we can all start using them. Thank you. What is the best routine for beginners who want to lose weight and body fat? I just ordered my unit on Friday and I'm very excited for the changes that I hope to accomplish. And that's, that's a great question. First thing we want to do is strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joints. So we're going to work on the knees. We're going to work on the hips. And once, once those are strong enough, and Brooklyn, can they see me in this way? I'm here? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, good. Okay. So, um, standing on the solar sizer, doing the gentle moving up and down is always the warm up. Bending the knees slightly, rocking side to side is a great one to warm up the hips. That would be a second one. The twist is another good one. That one helps to move and massage digestion, elimination processes. Um, been very, very helpful for a great many of us who may have had digestion problems in the past. Um, and then the weight loss, or, or building up the knee, opening up the bronchial tubes in the lungs, getting some oxygen. Cells need oxygen to burn calories and utilize nutrients. So most aerobic activities help burn calories. A lot of that has to do with how the body is working, but the increase of oxygen as well. In fact, just increasing oxygen alone can help increase metabolism and, and burn more, more fuel. So we start off by priming the body with more oxygen. 
And that technique is on the cellar sizer, what I was doing when I was breathing in and out. Same technique, you just go. And that increases the oxygen into the bloodstream and opens up the lungs, primes the body, gets it ready for the, the aerobic activities. The biggest muscles of the body have the greatest demand for fuel. So then we can spread our feet apart, bend the knee a little bit, and just walk in place, pushing down, left, right, left, right. This one here is very intense. These muscles need a lot of fuel. They burn a lot of fuel. And you can do repetitions of that. You can do your jogging as well. And then going back into the jungle walk, eventually, when you, as your intensity increases, you will get to the Jamba Run. And that's the one that uh, we all develop a love-hate relationship with. <laughs> we love it because it works. We hate it because it's tough. <laughs> all right. In relation to question number two, I have heard you say that you only bounce 10 minutes per day. Can a person do more than 10 minutes per session per day safely? Of course. You bet. You can. When I was doing trade shows, I do it all day long. <laughs> I just lost too much weight. But it's not the amount of time as much as it is how you challenge the body within the amount of time. So if you want to go easier on it or go more intense on it for a longer period of time, sure. In fact, we have the, uh, the advanced weight loss or second weight loss program here. It's almost 20 minutes long. And it goes through a lot of the, the different, uh, oh, it's over here. Yep. Okay, go back. So let's just start it. So this one here, which is what my kids like to use, and I use it too, quite often, is the one where it goes through, you know, ding, and it warms the body up. You get your oxygen, and then you do your, Spreading and rest in between. Then you got your jamba run, and you'll just do repetitions of it. And I'm just kind of going through it quickly, but um, that's a great routine. And the neat thing about it is you can hit the dinger so it's softer or louder. Um, you can play music on this, or you can play your own music. Or what we do is we'll watch a show, and the ding will go off every time it's time to change the movement. So if we're using our cell phone on our little phone holder here, we can um, look down and see what the next movement is, do the next movement until the ding comes again. It's just so convenient. All right. Baby bouncing with the baby. Is it better to hold her up so she, her feet are on the mat or hold her in my arms and gently bounce? She would be seven months on Monday. Is that too young to bounce? No. It's not. Um, we, I help our Brooklyn and, and our other children over my shoulder when I would bounce them up and down. And it was a great way to burp a baby from a very young age. Very gentle, but wonderful, very, very relaxing for mom and baby or dad and baby and or sibling. <laughs> but that gentle moving up and down is like a nice massage for, for everybody. Um, but as far as holding them up, yeah, you... We used to hold them up, they, they would hold our fingers, and we would just gently bounce up and down with them, and just kind of rock and do the different movements, so they got used to the movement up and down. That's what challenges our proprioceptors, and balance, rhythm, timing, dexterity, hand-eye coordination, there's so many benefits that we can get through that movement up and down on a solar session. And, oh, I should, I should show. Um, let me show you something. All right. It's a little, a little different than normal, but I was over at my grandson's yesterday, and he was the one, I don't know if you've seen him before, but he is awesome on the cellar sizer. In fact, there he goes. All right, let's have him try that again. He, uh, hopefully you can see this, but as he's running up, he jumps off the cellar sizer through the air when he was like three years old, he had the cellar sizer. He would jump from a wall onto the cellar sizer, do a flip in the air, and land on that bean bag. I mean, he's just extremely coordinated, and I was extremely concerned. But 
He's, he's very, very athletic and very, very coordinated. Um, and I know the solar sizer has a lot to do with that, so that's great. All right, so if a customer has specific problem areas and questions on how to rebound for that issue, what is the best way to reach out for help? Well, you can always give us a call. On the website, we actually, actually have an exercise page, and we do the same thing on the Mr. Rebound app. But on sellersize.com forward slash exercise, you can actually go and take a look at the different movements that pertain to different issues or different areas of the body that you might want to work on. Now, if it's something that's not included in that, then please feel free to give me a call and, and we can discuss some other options as well. All right. Should your body and legs be completely relaxed when doing the baby bounce? Am I correct to say that if I choose to relax my leg muscles while doing the baby bounce, I would get the extra benefit of building leg muscles and toning them at the same time? Well, it's weight bearing. So your, your muscles have to work. Every cell is working. Every time you move up and down, the cell membrane has weight on it. As you apply that weight over and over on the cell membrane, the cell simply fortifies its membrane. It doesn't want to rupture. And so it gets stronger to compensate for the increased amount of weight. You're doing it without tearing it down. But as far as relaxing the legs, um, yeah, you can relax the legs. It's, it, there's going to be muscles that are working, like the calf muscles, and they're not going to really relax. Um, if you tighten your body, though, and you gently bounce up and down, which is the other option. You tighten as an isometric for toning. So when you tighten the legs and you're burning fuel, and then you move up and down, you're actually increasing the weight with an isometric. And that can help tone the body and give you more definition. So, How many minutes a day do you need to jump to build lean muscle mass? Also, all, of all the people I have seen rebound in solar cells over the years, I have not seen anyone have the physical response that you've had. Why does it seem that only you have the amazing physical changes? <laughs> Go read our customer reviews. And I, I, re, I defer to uh, Sally and Stephanie, and you know, they're, they've got a whole program, and you want to see a physique for women? I mean, look at Sally and Stephanie. They're on our our Facebook often they've got their own program that they're incorporating solar size with too and, and the weight that they've lost and the, the seat that they have built and there's there's thousands and thousands of people have done it not just me um, if you have something specific and you're not or you haven't accomplished or achieved it um, there are, often are additional steps or movements that we can take to help reach those goals and objectives but there's other factors involved as well so feel free to, again to give me a call and we can kind of go over what you're doing right now and, and some changes that you might be able to make. This question is a popular one, so I'll ask it. Please talk some on menopause and how cellular sizing can help reduce our weight and tone up this hard age, also hot flashes. And that's one of the things that Dr. Morton Walker actually discuss briefly in the Townsend Letter for Doctors on how it helps with those issues in creating balance, circulation. Um, and we're not just talking physical balance. I, I believe that the movement up and down on the subtle sizer is taking the thyroid and the endocrine, the entire endocrine system collectively, and this all different areas of the body. And it's gently massaging and creating balance and stimulating so it, we've had experiences with people that have, that have shared that they have gone through these issues and noticed results and felt better as a result of it when they incorporated solar size in their day-to-day -day life. So if you're experiencing it or, or doing the solar size over a period of time, it should general, you know, generally, it should help you feel and perform better. Can you go over eye health in the solar sizer? Yeah. I've shared this a, a few times before, but hardening of the arteries is the number one degenerative disease. As the blood vessels shrink, 
as blood cells are sticky and we lose circulation of body parts and functions, they can atrophy, they can get weaker, um, the eye can lose flexibility, um, age can cause it to warp some as well. One of the advantages of the solarizer is that the movement up and down creates a massage effect without jarring so that the cell membranes are expanding and contracting. The blood vessels are opening up as, because we're making it easy for the heart. We're pumping with the heart to move that fluid and the blood through the circulatory systems and through the capillaries. The eye itself is flexing because of the G-forces on the eye and then we can exercise the muscles of the eye by focusing on an eye chart that we can either make ourselves or we can buy an eye chart, they're on Amazon, and you can put it up on a window and bounce up and down so you can read the letters and do that left, right, diagonal, same out loud as you're doing it, do different movements while you're reading it. It all it's, 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 it has a ten, it interacts with the brain so that the brain is being stimulated and has a lot to do with our, um, with our vision, our visual acuity and, and ability to, to focus and read. And then after you've looked at the eye chart for a few moments, then you look through the window at something at a distance, you continue to bounce up and down. Now you've got the muscles of the eye focusing, bouncing and circulating. So, our, and, and people who've noticed results would do it as, as much as 20 minutes. They would just do those exercises Oh, I say break into it a little easier than that. But can you explain how long it took you to grow in height? I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't even believe it <laughs> to begin with. Um, I was, they're referring to when I was five. I've been five ten and a half my entire adult life, and I'm now five eleven and a quarter, three quarters of an inch taller, and been measured by three doctors and one attorney. So I. I lecture, I talk about it, it's, but it's not just me that that's happened to. There are techniques that I incorporate in the solarizer to open up the vertebral joints in the back, increase circulation to the disc, help to elongate the back. Um, I, we don't know exactly. I just remember seeing my dad when I went to visit him, and he was 6'2", he played for UCLA under John Wooden in basketball, great athlete, and I didn't get his height, so, so I didn't got more competitive by that time too, so I, I went out track and field instead. But when I came to the door and he opened the door, his comment to me was, boy, you look taller, you look shorter. And I went, nah. So I, I, didn't, I didn't know, but I went back and, and got measured. And, it, it, you know, it's kind of a cute little story, but found out I was 5'11 and a quarter, three quarters of an inch taller than I've ever been. And you know, we attributed it, had to do something we presume with the solar sizer because I don't know many people that go three quarters of an inch in their late 30s to 40s. So we don't know exactly when that occurred. But I do know imbibing the disc with synovial fluid helped to some degree. Um, I know I had a little curvature in my back and that may have helped some. I know that muscles and ligaments took time to stretch. It took me almost two years. I didn't know what I was doing at the time to build up my, my back and my knees. And now it's, it's night and day difference. I mean, it's, it is, I wish everybody could feel as, at least you know, this, this good. And, and I know it's never too late to start. Cells don't get old. Cells are always replacing themselves. So we can strengthen and improve the efficiency of our cells at virtually any age. Okay. Um, I measure myself at the start of my cellar size journey and I've shrunk almost two inches I'd love to get that back again. Yeah, those, these movements here. And, and we had a gentleman who had lost two inches and he, uh, he wrote me a nice customer and he said, he's got them back again. So things like this are all designed to loosen up the vertebral joints in the back, pump and increase circulation. And a lot of these movements you can see on the DVD. Um, and, that type of thing. All right. When I solarize the back of my legs are tight and I have to really stretch them out when I'm done. Why is that? And over time will it become more flexible? I've been solarizing for a while and still feel the tightness. Yeah, you're probably working that area. When you, we had a lady call up earlier this week who 
or excuse me, it wasn't earlier this week, it was Friday, last week. She called up and she was noticing some issues in her heel and it didn't feel real comfortable. Well, she wears high heel shoes a lot and she wants to continue to wear her high heel shoes. But when you wear high heel shoes, the Achilles tendon and the, the, the attachments in the back of the heel have a tendency to be shorter. They shorten up and they tighten up. And when you get on a cellar sizer and you start to move up and down, your heels are dropping into the mat. That's elongating the, the back of the heel and the Achilles tendon. And so tendons take quite a while to catch up to even muscles. And as you're doing that, that stretch may be something that you're feeling initially, is that the body is actually attempting to become more flexible and it's, uh, it just feels like a cider. One of the techniques that I often do with people is I'll have them try to touch their toes before they begin their cellar size session. Then go through the cellar size session and then try to touch your toes again and see how much easier it is. Because cellar size actually acts like a, um, a massage where it helps to get rid of the stress and tension, not to increase it. But if you're noticing that stress and tension in the back of legs, then those techniques that, that I shared recently, which really work, you can just bend the knee, grab the frame, kind of stand up a little bit, lean to the left and just bounce a little bit, lift your ball of your foot up and then do the same thing the other side. And these things really work. Eventually you can start gently bouncing over the edge or tilting back. And so we've shared some of those techniques too. All right. Oh, I know someone with MS. Could a cellar sizer be beneficial for them? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say a cellar sizer can be beneficial to them, but check with their doctor or health practitioner because we're obligated to say that. We don't know everything that, that they may be dealing with. But I've worked <laughs> with many people that have multiple, that have multiple sclerosis. And some of them have been wheelchair bound and are now walking around. Um, whether it's breaking up blockages in the brain, opening up lymphatic or circulatory systems, we need more research in that arena. But yes, I have seen incredible results for, with people with multiple sclerosis. And I tell people, hey, try it. Try it and see how you feel. Um, I think I shared a story recently, so I won't go through it again, but um, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been great. Yes? Um, are there any exercises that we could do for the lower spine just above the tailbone that is a bit too steep from a fall? Yeah. Yeah. Can we do, can we target the lower spine area on a cellar sizer from people that have had injuries? And there are some techniques. Oh. All right, so again, warming up the tissue is good. Gently doing the twist is good. And then to focus on the lower back, we can start off by taking our elbow, sticking it up over our head, tilting to the left to open up the vertebral joints in the back. When we tilt to the left and we feel the stretch, we just gently move up and down. That's massaging that stress or that tension without um, it's like having millions of little fingers in there, just massaging all the cell tissue. And then we can take the right leg and just cross it in front. And this is, you're gonna feel this. Um, it targets the lower back. And it starts to open up that whole lower back area. And you may even hear your back pop as a result. So this one here, same way. You get to the point where you just kind of cross in front. And with most of us, we're going to notice one side of the body is a little tighter, tighter than the other side of the body. And that's the side we might want to work on a little bit more. But when we're done doing those movements, I always suggest that we then do the gentle twist again to help restore balance on both, both sides of the body. Okay, I wanted to talk briefly about the cellar sizer. If there's other questions that come up, Brooklyn, please let me know. 
want to talk about what makes this different. Number one, this matte material that is not made out of the canvas, nylon, or plastics that you can find on typical rebounders. Canvas, nylon, and plastic mats look the same, but the matte material itself can stretch, it can rot and mildew as well. But when the material itself is stretching with the spring, then the spring stretches, the mat stretches, your feet pronate. Landing like that over time is what causes people the ankle problems, knee problems, and, and back problems. And they won't feel as secure or as supported on that type of a unit either. So if they're doing different movements, altering the angle of the body to create leverage in certain areas, that's going to um, be compromised because they'll feel like it's going to throw them off. Um, this particular unit, we use a special space age material. It's a polypropylene where every fiber is put under nearly 200 tons of pressure. It's so incredibly dense that you can leave it on the in the sun, the rain, the snow, doesn't matter. We've got units that have been sitting outside for 15 years, 16 years, and they're fine, we still use them. So they're UV resistant. They make swimming pool covers out of it for that reason as well. I use it because you can't stretch this out. You land on it, the mat moves with the feet, but the springs move and your foot is supported. And that allows you to comfortably do the different movements where you can alter the angle of your body, it lifts you straight up. If you're on a unit that's too soft or a mat that is stretching and you alter the angle of your body a little bit, you feel like it might throw you off. And that often does. Yes, Brittany? Can sellers size help with gout in the feet? Yeah, we've had a number of people that have had some um, really good um, experiences with it. Some of them diabetics, where the movement up and down as we lift the the balls of our foot up and down, it helps to stimulate circulation in the lower extremities. Now you can do additional techniques, and there are other techniques that you can do, but the circulation is key, and the solar size helps to really help with that, that circulatory part of it. Okay, another thing. When I started in this industry 30 some years ago, virtually all the units on the, the market use these little tube springs. And those little tube springs, if you know anybody that has them, I do not recommend that you do our exercises on them. In fact, Dr. Morton Walker in the Townsend Letter for Doctors warned doctors to avoid the units because the abrupt jarring effect was the same as landing on the ground. You just did it a moment later. These things will stretch very, very little, and then they stop very abruptly. And they're very, <laughs> they just, they don't create the G-forces needed to give you the benefits. And that jarring effect is what permanently damaged my dad when he was jumping on a typical rebounder when he tried to do my exercises. It can't support you the same. So I introduced the tridaptable spring design, and that's the one that, that you all have, that have cellar sizers. It has a larger diameter in the middle of the spring, much softer. And then, but it has a ridge, so it'll stretch a certain amount, and then it graduates to the next ridge and the next tier and so forth. So you don't bottom out. It slows you down gradually. So you create the G-force. It doesn't matter whether you're a two-year-old or you're well over 100, you're 20 pounds, or you're over 300 pounds. The cellar sizer spring helps to adapt to the weight of the person using it as well as to the height that the person is jumping. And the whole purpose of that is so you have resistance, but no jarring. The jarring is where people get damaged. Resistance is necessary so that we build up muscle mass and bone density and open up the lymph system to make sure that it's circulating. That's why people get the results. Um, some other little features you'll notice on solar sizers, the rubber tips. We have a lifetime warranty on those. They don't wear out. The frame has got a lifetime warranty on it now as well. Um, I give the springs, I've never broken a spring in my entire life, and I do this all the time. We have had people break springs, generally because they're either using it like a big trampoline, jumping too high and they land on the springs, it can fracture a spring when they're doing jumping jacks. If you do jumping jacks, it's almost guaranteed you're gonna fracture a spring. So I do the glorified jumping jack, which you see me do, where I lean forward and the hands come up and down over my hip. That keeps me more centered in the mat, but I'm, I'm still getting all the benefit, but I'm not landing on the springs. So that's, that's a 
big difference as well. The legs, you notice they don't screw on because anything that screws on can also get screwed off or screwed, stripped, whatever. But these fit over a steel coat that help with the heavy duty piano wire. That's one of the best wires you can get. That's what makes our unit special. The steel in our spring is so strong, and many of you have heard me say this, it destroys conventional spring molds. So we had to go to a tungsten steel mold just to be able to produce our spring, the wire. Um, we have the trifold cellar sizer that fits into the carrying case with wheels and a pull out handle for those of us who never leave home without it. And we have the home base half fold cellar sizer, which is this one right here. Used to be this one right here, but my wife liked the trifold better, so she had me bring that home. Um, but they're both going to give you the same results. They're both made with the same quality materials. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the lint system because of how important it is that we all have a good, good functioning immune system. Oxygenation, again, opening up the body, opening up the lungs and the bronchial tubes. Um, it has the added benefit of opening up the, the larynx as well, but that pumping action helps to get that oxygen into the bloodstream. So we prime the body that way. Then the movement up and down is what activates millions of one-way valves in the lymphatic system. So millions of valves are opening and shutting. As we move up and down, these valves, and you've heard me share this in the DVD, they start in the toes, fingertips, and other extremities of the body. They work their way up to other small lymph vessels and then toward the lymph nodes. That's where our army is. That's where we have a, the biggest concentration of all these lymph nodes. And so when lymph nodes get swollen, it's because our civil defense system, the lymphocytes, are in there battling with the foreign invaders so they can destroy them. And then from there, the larger lymph vessels carry the lymphatic fluid back up toward other large lymph vessels and then toward the thoracic duct, it's your largest lymph vessel, and then in through the venous cava area, through the subclavian left vein and back into the bloodstream. It's kind of like the branches of an oak tree working their way backwards and into the, uh, the actual roots. And so the lymphatic system is dependent upon pressure changes to operate the lymph system. It doesn't have a heart to keep it circulating. So because the lymphatic system has a negative pressure, any movement will cause little suction in these lymph valves. And so when we get on a cellar sizer, you can do this watching TV, and you start to move up and down, you have, within a few minutes, you prime the body with millions of one-way valves sucking, and they start to pull the circulation through the tissue space of the body, the bones, the joints. It's a vacuum system. Think of it like a vacuum system. That's really what it is. It's vacuuming out the internal environment of the body. So any lingering viruses, germs, bacteria, fungus, dead cells, mutant cells, cancerous cells, foreign invaders, they're all sucked in to the lymph system where the greatest concentration of white blood cells can go after and, and destroy those foreign invaders. So I believe that's extremely important for those who may suffer allergies or, or uh, stuffy sinuses. That movement up and down is like taking a jar of water with a bunch of dirt clods in it. If it's all stuffy and you start to move it up and down, you begin to break up the dirt clods and that movement up and down helps to open up the circulatory systems. So people with allergies, <laughs> and I had them growing up, um, we feel better when we're on a cellar sizer bouncing up and down um, to help clear that out of our system. So. Those movements, just up and down, breathing in and out. This movement here helps to pump the lymph system as well. It's going on the right lip side of the body. Um, this movement here is working on your, your lymphatic system, um, gallbladder, and there are lymph nodes all throughout the abdominal region and area as well. So those movements, 
I think are really important today. And if you feel like you've been exposed to something and you want to increase the response of the lymphatic system so it's operating at a higher level, then we learn through Dr. Arthur C. Guidance book, Medical Physiology, that by running as fast as you can, or pretty close to it, on a solar sizer for one minute can increase the number of active white blood cells in your bloodstream by 10 to 15 times, and they can stay up for up to one hour. That's one minute for one hour of what I believe is your own natural antibiotic. And that's, that's just done by just, just running fast and just count up to, uh, count up to, up to a minute and it works. <laughs> so, um, any other questions? Yes. What's your diet like? <sighs> it could be better. <laughs> uh, I wish I had more live foods to eat, but I try to eat live foods as much as I can. I think they're... They're the healthiest and the body can absorb it more efficiently. Eating dead processed foods is harder for the body. Heart rate will go up. It's harder to digest. Um, but I eat it every day. My diet, it's, it's not really regulated. Um, so uh, there are some things I avoid. I avoid eating lots of sugar, I don't you know, have a piece of pie, you know. Um, my diet is, I, I believe diet is important. I believe here, we're in a partnership relationship with our body. How we provide for our body today has a lot to do with how it's going to be able to provide for us tomorrow. Now we eat people food and people food is what tastes good to us. It's what the cells often have to put up with and it, they'll absorb what they can. And the body with solar size can help more easily get rid of what it doesn't need, which I think it does. But just by the same token, since we're in that partnership relationship and we eat people food, I think it's important we turn the menu over to the cells every day. Let them choose what they want or what they need to maintain the structure, integrity, and functioning of the body. And we don't necessarily know what they need, but they do. So rather than try to second guess it, I encourage people get a green drink, a good green drink and put in some live vegetables, some live foods in that drink and then drink it. And I haven't been doing that for a while, but I'm gonna start doing that again um, because I think it's real important so that the cells can draw from that saddle bar everything they need to maintain the, maintain the uh, the building blocks or in structure and integrity of, of the body. But I, I always like to, when I can, have a veggie tray nearby and I'll nibble on vegetables during the day. I think that's healthy. And I would do that every day if I had access to good veggie trays, vegetable trays. But um, we don't always have that. But I, I do believe diet is important. Um, I think it's more what we avoid than, than anything else, but um, yeah, yeah I, I can eat, you know, I, I'll go to Chipotle and I get their great big, I had one last night, one of their great big chicken burritos and I pour on the guacamole and um, get extra beans, you know, sometimes with it, with it and you know, I, I enjoy that, it's just, it's just good. So. I think the cellar sizer, if, we do, if we're not perfect in the way we eat, I think this, I really believe that. The cellar sizer helps the body to perform more efficiently at getting rid of what it doesn't need and being able to utilize what it can. And I've counted on that for years and I'm, I'm really grateful for it. But I'm sure we all have a greater health potential. I'm working to achieve it and hoping that you can too. I want to... Uh, Thank everybody again for being part of this program, for sharing these messages with other people, for sharing your customer reviews with us. Please continue to do so, so we have something to share with others. Uh, in two weeks, um, 
let me know what routine on the Mr. Rebounder app you would like to work with, uh, and and we can we can work with it. Um, if I don't get any, you know, my a response, then I'll go ahead and pick one, and we can all do it together anyway. But um, thank you. Stay healthy. Stay seller sizing. Keep on that. Remember, this is a journey. Enjoy the journey. And know that every time you're on this other side, you're successful and you are absolutely, without a doubt, affecting your overall performance and ability of the body to function more efficiently from being on that solar sizer. If there's anything I can do, feel free to give me a call. And remember, you don't need to exercise when you solar size. So why work out when you can play in? Enjoy. Um, watch for our new website again tonight, tomorrow morning, and, and let us know what you think. Thank you. God bless all of you. Stay healthy, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks.